columns of root. Move to all the right and columns of root.
also acknowledge the presence of Tobe Ali B. Dissek. Tobe Ali B. Dissek. If you are of who have it, also, Tobe Pia, Tobe Pia, Adama. Tobe Pia, Tobe Pia, Over the years, I'm sure 
that the three incidents have brought in more students than we anticipated. The theme for the occasion that is 40 years of empowering the girl child in a challenging digital world, a shared responsibility is apt. And I'm very confident that the keynote that they see will do justice to the team. But before I take my seat, I want to say a few things um, because I was within the space. First of all, I want to say that it's not easy to educate the girl child. If I say it is not easy, it means that girls or women, we have our unique challenges. One of my research areas is pain, and I research menstrual pain in senior high school and in the universities. Some of my findings show that some of the girls experience very, very severe pain such that they are not even able to go to school. They end up in the hospital or in a sick day throughout a period of their menstrual cycle or some of them will have to go home because of the severe nature of the pain. Another issue is also about the girl and the issues of womanhood. One of them is our menstrual cycle. There are some organizations that are taking it all upon themselves to provide us with menstrual hygiene needs. My work showed that some of the girls will show themselves in class, so they are not able to engage in all the activities. They have to wait until all the others will leave the class and all that. All that I'm trying to say that I applaud local girls for training, for bringing up women over the 40, 40 years that are making strides in society and contributing to national development. An area of the team that I'm very, very interested in is the fact that we need to prepare today's students, be it a girl or a boy, to fit the digital world. And I like the draw on shared response. Educating 
They go talk in a challenging digital world and share responsibility. I must say that the journey to this day had not been all smooth, but I come with moments difficult enough to compel us to give up as a school. But in all, we fought on with one accord, and today I'm most delighted to be in a celebratory mood. Our consolation as a school had always resided in the Almighty Father and in the saying that where there is a will, there is a way. Professor Chair, being in the profession of having to train and educate close to 3,000 girls at a time to become world-class leaders and women of value in a modern world replete with ICT and digitization is indeed a daunting task. The never-ending love for and the strong attachment to the modern gadget such as the smartphone by students and the conflicting global yearning for victory mood. Our consolation as a school had always resided in the Almighty Father and in the saying that where there is a will, there is a way. The question of having to train and educate close to 3,000 girls at a time to become world city and digitization is indeed a daunting task. The never ending love for and the strong attachment to the modern gadget, such as, and the conflicting global year. In spite of this, our commitment to educating the girl child has never wavered, even as the world around us has undergone remarkable changes, particularly in digitization. We are in the full spirit of loyalty determination and service to both man and God remain true to our motto, educate a woman for God and educate a whole nation for God. Brief history. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as told repeatedly at gathering like this, the decision to establish a single-sex secondary school for girls in the Volta Regional Capital to be run by the Evangelical Presbyterian Church, Ghana, was taken at the church's 40th synod in the then synod moderator, the very Reverend Professor Noah Komola Jobu of Blessed Memory and remain on the drawing table until October 1983, when it became a reality with Madame Margaret Utuga becoming the first head. Available records indicate that the school started with three volunteer teachers in a small building opposite the Lanka Cathedral before the school finally moved to its present location in later years. The school has, was able to take off in that year due to the general contribution of individuals, of the greater self communication, residency, and overseas partners like the United States Board for World Community in the United States of America and the German Church in Germany. This citation is sponsored by management in recognition of their dedicated service, exemplary leadership and positive attitude. The school management appreciates the valuable contributions to continue to render towards the growth and development of EBC Malco Girls Senior High School. We work assiduously to promote diversity within staff and students 
Intelligently yeah. seek excellent academic performance for the students by making sure that efficient and effective oh. teaching and learning are not compromised. You have built to all and sundry, well fortune and inclusive atmosphere in Malco community. Your passionate tendencies in the spiritual need of both staff and students is very commendable and acknowledged. You have a big heart to accommodate all kinds of behaviors. Your God-fearing attitude and humility add a special touch to your style of administration. Despite your depth of knowledge and competence, you always seek the opinions of your subjects on nearly all matters and gently guide them to share in your vision. You are much interested in the personal development and welfare of your staff. You have shown a lot of love, commitment, and always have good intentions for the progress of everyone in this noble institution. This must allow for every native gritty of the administration to be enumerated today. Your name and good deeds will forever remain indelible in the annals of EPC Malco Girls School. On this special occasion, the school management expressed their gratitude for your enormous sacrifices and dedications. Thank you, Aiko Mauneirao. This is also in honor of Presbyter Miss Ernestina Doris Akosia Peniana, the seventh head mistress. Parents. This presentation will be done by the Municipal Director of Education. Doctor Esther <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 